Today, we will focus on personalizing your defenses because some defenses you should not do, not at all. Now, when I taught Capoeira, some people could not touch the ground. When you do this standing esquivelateral, can you touch the floor with a flat hand or not? Many people in my group, they could not touch the floor, so I would let them stand here. Or I would change the defense because their arms are not so monkey-like, like mine. How about this one? I just did it. Like a defense like here, with your knee bent forward. I think it's quite, quite fresh and styly. I can do it both, both sides easily. Maybe you can adapt it to a bit less far away, two more here, or you could make it a standing one here. Will you go out of the game? Will you stay in the game? For example, if I do this here, it's a pretty long, long road. If you have your balance fixed here, you can still continue and still go there. How about this? If you make this a bit more to the side, then, then the entry point here is a bit shorter, right? It's a bit shorter. It's not right or wrong, it's just different. Do you do the coquirinha with one hand or with two hands? How many of you have learned the coquirinha and never applies it in the game? How much of your class is actually transferred to your game? For me, this personalization is really important because then you can really create your own thing. So maybe some small little details within your defenses that can actually help to connect your defense with a kick and with other moves. Check your defenses to see how you can adapt them. And they should feel comfortable, even more comfortable than your kicks, because they can save your ass, right? You should be able to defend. One criteria for me is, can you go to one side and to the other side quickly? If you can, good. If you cannot, Maybe change it around a bit. Thanks for watching. This is Arnold, aka Vita, bringing you Kapu training. Kapam!